Do you own an electric vehicle? Do you also wish you had better power options for your car? Imagine a world where you no longer had to plug your electric vehicle into an electrical socket to charge the battery. What if we told you that there was a much more convenient, lighter, and pocket-friendly option? Today, we're going to show you a greener battery that uses just air, water, and metal aluminum to generate electricity and get the battery charged. That's not all. It boasts a driving range that's more than twice what a lithium battery can offer you. The battery is a long-range, lightweight, budget-friendly, recyclable, and ethically sourced product. Some are even calling it the holy grail of the EV market. Today, we're going to tell you that these batteries generate electricity where they're used, what makes them better than other batteries, and why you should definitely give them a try. Then, stick around to the end of the video to find out why, despite being great, these batteries might not be for everyone. The Bright Side There are a few reasons for the hype around this battery. One of them is that the lithium hydroxide solution that's left over as a byproduct in the used battery can be sent to recycle the unit, and 100% of the aluminum can be recovered. Aluminum hydroxide air battery technology is also relatively safer because it relies on a water-based electrolyte that doesn't have toxins like lithium-ion technology. Even though lithium-ion batteries were considered revolutionary not too long ago, they usually give a range of a maximum of 300 miles. If you want to go on a long trip, that won't be enough. Nobody would want to charge their car in the middle of a road trip. Who knows if a charger will even be available. Another con of lithium batteries is that if the battery is totally discharged, it can't ever be recharged again. Lithium ion batteries are also more prone to risks, like battery degradation from intense temperatures, leakages caused by mechanical overdrive, discharging, and overcharging. Development. This battery, however, can be a reality, all thanks to the efforts of the Indian Oil Corporation and Israeli clean energy startup, Finergy, that are working on bringing aluminum air batteries to the mainstream market in India. Aluminum air batteries produce electricity from the reaction of oxygen in the air with the aluminum. It's also surprisingly simpler than you'd expect. When the aluminum reacts with the air, the result is a discharge that can be used to charge your car. These batteries also have one of the highest energy densities as compared to most batteries. It's also very innovative and a modern product made with the finest technology. Let's take a closer look on how it works though. A prototype has been developed with 25 aluminum air cells stacked in a series and is currently being tested in three models of electric cars, one being the Maruti Suzuki, some electric trucks, and some three-wheel electric vehicles. Understanding these batteries is simple if you know about hydrogen fuel cells. Trevor Jackson, who's an engineer and ex-former officer in the UK's Royal Navy, began a series of experiments with aluminum air batteries all the way back in 2001. How it works. The fuel is an aluminum metal known as the anode, which reacts with the oxygen known as the cathode around it to form power for the cathode. Simply put, it's just oxygen that's been taken from the air around it, so there's no need to also carry the weight brought by another metal, which is how it's done in traditional batteries. This also makes the battery much lighter in weight. The cathode system sucks in air and contains a catalyst that accelerates a chemical reaction, which filters oxygen molecules from the air through silver-based catalyst that prevents CO2 from going into the battery. Yet at the same time, it lets oxygen go through the electrolyte so it can react with the water and as a result, form negative hydroxide ions at the anode, positive ions of oxygen react with the metal and ultimately result in the formation of aluminum trihydroxide. This substance will be in the form of a white powder. These electrons mean that you can produce electricity when the battery is plugged into a load. They move from the anode to the cathode and recover those lost electrons during the reaction process. The oxygen that gets sucked into the aluminum air cell from the surrounding air reacts with the water and metal and generates power. Why it would be good for your EV The battery is also quite economically friendly. Once the metal is worn down, all you have to do is reload the battery by putting in a new anode and a new electrolyte. In simpler terms, you just get a new battery. Jackson believes that these batteries are a very decent extension for EVs, as they aren't rechargeable. However, Indian Oil believes that they've figured out a way to do this. They're going to be making it fast and simple to replace the batteries and reuse them too. As per their claims, now replacing the battery only takes three minutes, and they'll see to it that their stations have appropriate facilities for battery swapping. Otherwise, one of these batteries would have to be towed to a battery swap station, and that's a huge hassle. In addition, Jackson believes that people wouldn't want to wait for their electric car to be charged when they really have somewhere to be. A Harvard study uncovered that it had to be more accessible, simpler to use, and come with a somewhat inexpensive charging infrastructure to do well on the market. Battery swapping will no doubt cut on the waiting time for drivers, 
But on the downside, this technology is somewhat complicated to use. But aluminum air batteries in passenger vehicles are just the start. There's a huge range of possibilities. The electricity generated by these batteries is a hell of a lot. To give you an idea, these batteries have previously been used in rocket boosters and space shuttles. They'd be ideal for telephone exchanges as reserve batteries or as backup power sources for many units. Fun facts. Not a lot of people know this, but the Space Shuttle solid rocket boosters were powered by aluminum powder. One of the uses for this powder includes cruise ships and containers. Marine applications have also expressed interest in these batteries because of their super high density, low weight, environmental friendliness, and sustainability. Aluminum versus Lithium You're probably wondering, what exactly are the differences between these two batteries? We're going to tell you just that. Aluminum is the most available metal in the world, and it isn't costly or difficult to recycle it either. Not just that, as we've previously mentioned, these batteries are much lighter in weight than lithium batteries. As you may already know, aluminum is a quite a lightweight metal, which makes it ideal for the anode. The oxygen that's used in the cathode doesn't have to be stored since it's taking away from the air around it. Aluminum air batteries are made from a plastic aluminum alloy and a non-toxic, safe electrolyte. These can be air freighted, wet or dry too. They don't damage too easily. Another reason that they're such an attractive option is that they're not flammable as compared to lithium ion batteries. Aluminum air batteries also have the highest energy density of eight kilowatt hours per kilogram in contrast to one to 1.5 kilowatt hours per kilogram of lithium. That's why an EV that uses the most evolved lithium ion batteries can only offer you a 100, whereas on the other hand with aluminum, even with half the energy density, you can still get four times higher range. To put that in context, a Tesla has an estimated range on a single charge of 370 miles. According to Jackson, replacing a Tesla lithium ion battery with an aluminum air battery of the same weight would result in a range of 2,700 miles per kilogram. To sum everything up, Yes, there are pros and cons to lithium air batteries. While aluminum is cheap and recyclable, these batteries are still in a developmental stage and aren't widely used because of high anode expenses and byproduct removal problems. Another problem is the cost of materials, but we can't deny that aluminum is still very cheap compared to other batteries when it comes to prices. However, we're hopeful that all these flaws are smoothed out with a bit more work and the battery becomes a market product. The cons. Aluminum air batteries have a high degradation rate because of corrosion, while lithium batteries have a 5% degradation rate after a month of being used. Aluminum air batteries lose 80% of their capacity within just four to five weeks. Those problems were too many to ignore, so researchers and companies set to work looking for a solution and finding alternatives. For these reasons, the aluminum air battery had its use restricted to military applications so far. Aluminum batteries are susceptible to thermal runaway as they can short circuit as there's no stored charge in them. They act as a power source rather than an energy storage device. That's it for today. Leave a comment below and let us know if you'll be purchasing aluminum batteries for your EV.